discovered a few things in my investigation this week. Okay. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. <laughs> Akechi, you have friends? Did you find something too? Alright, what'd you find? First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Well, we hung out with them, but it's been a while since, so, so I'll believe you. And if I recall correctly, he had a friend called Shibusawa that helped him publish it, I think, too. Right? That dragon of Dojima? Uh... Yeah, he told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And, as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. Yeah, what happened, though? Why was it cut off? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? There's a ton more. For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Don't tell me there's like an additional villain after Maruki. Or something, or maybe there is, but it's like a personal reason, which is why Maruki is going through with like this set of reality or this, like that's his conviction of doing this. That's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. I mean, there's no other new characters that we have. Besides Kasumi and Maruki, who are definite key players into this story. Like, there's no one else. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. Is he delusional? Or does he have a savior complex? He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Probably not delighted. After all, there are some people who have evaded that reality. Like those two otakus in... In, Shi, uh, in Akihabara and, uh, you know, the two of us here that are talking. Plus, the homeless guy in Shibuya. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. I'm glad they're actually gonna talk about this, cause yeah. Some people aren't alive that have died that should technically be alive. Uh, Yusuke's mom kind of just being one of them. But I'm pretty sure there's some other key players that should be alive too. Like the principal of Shujin Academy, why is he not alive? Or we didn't see him, but we don't know that. Uh, what about um, the SIU director, right? Shouldn't he be alive? And what happened to Shido? Shido should be alive too. He didn't die. They're not dead anymore. They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. Yeah, but what if they're just shadows too? Like, that exist to play, their, like, to play the role of those characters. Holy shit, that sounds a lot like uh, Summertime Rendering now. By the way, it's a great anime. Um, if you ever want to watch an anime that's like... I would say if you, if you ever want to watch a really good thriller with really smooth animations, uh, check out an anime called Summertime Rendering. It's really good. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. Yeah, so I think what, what we need to point out, or what we need to locate with Akechi is... From which time, well, like what time period did Maruki freeze, like freeze time where this kind of, because Maruki obviously doesn't have the power to resurrect people, that's impossible. Um, he's either placing people's consciousness into like an actual fake reality in which we're all living in it and we don't know, which is like literal matrix shit, um, because you know we're, we're in his palace as shown on the map, or somehow he actually has the power to control shadows maybe and those shadows exist as artificial beings that create artificial happiness if that makes any sense um 
Yeah, actually, I, I want to choose this. What happened to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. I see. So that still stays a truth in this world. It seems the phantom thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Okay. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. Right. Akechi didn't kill Unikazu. Akechi didn't kill Utaba's mom. And my identity was not exposed or known because I, uh, because technically in this world I did not steal anybody's heart. Wow, that's actually incredible to find that out. Akechi and I are both clean. We haven't done anything. We're both criminals by nature, but we haven't committed a single crime in this world. That's scary when you think about that. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. Well, this was well thought out, that's all. Kind of feels bad that I'm the one that helped him with his uh, research. What do you make of it? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. Something I assume you're not willing to abide by. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. Ooh. Based. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. Me too. I feel the same way. Live the way you want to. Fuck everyone else. Never let anyone tell you what to do. And never be influenced or have to deal with negative people. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Uh, not for long. I think we've bartered most of them out of their positioning. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. See you in Odaiba. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Yup. With Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before. You know, that stuff about my happiness. Sorry, it's nothing. I mean, I actually don't mind you as like in your human form. I think you look pretty damn cool. Um, it's just that there's only one bed up here and I feel bad for having you sleep on the sofa. Uh, by the way, sleeping on a sofa is not viable as much as it actually seems possible. It's highly impractical for your posture. So, um, yeah. In fact, it's probably just as bad as sleeping in a car. Um, it's terrible for your back. Good night. Gotta get you a futon or something. Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. Guess I'll save real quick. That was a lot of progress too, so I th <laughs> I'm gonna save in a new slot. Okay, let's keep going. And the ninth. So you came. And she's like, you were you took so long. I was able to keep complete five rounds of Candy Crush. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Yeah, I guess, well, I guess they just need time. Same with Morgana, right? I'm sure they'll come around. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. I get a catchy skepticism. I don't really rely on anyone else either. All you can really do is make your own actions, make your own luck, and hope. hopefully it all melds into something that, into a result that you want. That's kind of the truth of it. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Yep, let's head on in. Just the two of us, huh? 
Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Do I actually have the option? Oh. Oh, I do. Wow. Uh, where the fuck can I go? Can I fast travel? Um, no, I can't. Okay. But, okay, let's go to Takemi's. Well. A little belated, but Happy New Year. Seems as soon as the New Year started, everyone's got good news. That's fine, I guess. Oh, well, whatever. So, what kind of medicine did you need? You want a shot? Buy accessories, okay. It I could am... be serious consequences if a minor were to become dependent on drugs. Uh, <laughs> or it's anybody? Amazingly effective. You want to try it out? Invigorate three? What do you want to do? How do I like inspect what that You're ability is? My best work ever. Oh my god. I'm very proud of it. Oh my god, she talks a lot. <laughs> Prepare yourself for the ultimate drug. Actually, that heals a bunch of hell. A fantastic new drug. Hmm. Uh, okay, I don't one? need to though. Revive all. Revive all fallen. Ultimate drug. Um. I mean, I maybe SP would be nice. That's all I really need, SP. But shit, I don't think there's one for SP. I guess that'd be too OP if I did. That's fine though. Take care. Come again. Guess I won't waste it on medicine. It might be better instead to focus on weapons since it's just Akechi and I. Sorry for the delay. Happy New Year. Got too many New Year troublemakers coming by. The location probably doesn't help. Sheesh. Feels like the whole town's losing its damn mind. If there's anything you want, go ahead and check them out. Okay. All right. All right. Which one? Guess I will then. We're gonna be in here for a long time Just after all. That packs quite a bunch. Hmm? You like it? I want you to say the line again where it's like, "Don't use this on on humans or animals, especially not the animals." Sounds good. All right, and Akechi, I'll get you your best weapon too. Even. Hmm? That? There we go. Because we're gonna be needing all that right. a lot. All right. Which one? That's what you're doing. Like burn all my, uh, burn all of it there, and I will. You like automatics, huh? Accuracy. Used to be considered unreliable, but now everyone uses them. I mean, just go for max damage, right? Always max hmm, damage. Let's go. Huge damage. And for Akechi, I'll get him choosing? this. Don't break it, okay? We go for damage. Damage all the way, baby. We don't got any models at 585. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now armor. This is actually really important right now, because there's only two of us. So I'll get we got new protective gear in that looks pretty damn close to the yeah. we get two of these. You better not use it to pull a prank. No, and I'll That's buy one for a catchy. How's that? There we go. Best armor, best guns, best weapons. Right. Ah, uh, I don't need any of this. Can I have a null everything? We're good. Damn, just gearing out both of the both of these two costed a lot. Shit. I think we're good. Yeah. Guess I'll change my uniform real quick too. Well, it's the New Year's. Is there anything that celebrates the New Year's? <laughs> Swimsuit. Winter clothes. You know what? It is the winter after all. So why not? How about this? Are you ready? Good to go. Now. Well. Let us depart. Shall we go then? Excuse me. Is uh. Whoa. Uh. Hey guys. It's the crew. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day. Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. 
At first, I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey... Do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. True and real, but it's also because this is a fabricated reality. But still, even if we were able to talk all my teammates out of this, can like other people, like let's say my other confidants, be also talked out of it easily? Like what about Oya? What about Shinya? What about, um, you know, uh, Chihaya, Yoshida? Can all of them also be talked out of it? Or it's like, oh, you know, this isn't reality. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. But... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. I think, well, in this reality, the Phantom Thieves do exist, but we didn't commit any crimes. That's like one kind of paradox that I might don't understand. If we know, if everybody in this room knows that they're a Phantom Thief and that, you know, there's this other metaverse, then hasn't that been a realization already that, oh, you know, something is not right? Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and... I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. Source, trust me, bro. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. What's going to happen to Morgana, though? Like, what if he accepts the truth? He turns back into a cat? Like, shit. That's going to, if anything, it's probably going to be the hardest for Futaba, Morgana, and... Actually, no, yeah, from Makoto and yeah, probably basically and, and Haru, those four, because Haru will lose her father again. Makoto will lose her father. Um, Morgana will turn back to a cat and Futaba will lose her mother. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Oh, huh? Oh, so that's what it was. Oh, my God. The, the rainbow hue was like an actual fake glass. That's cool. It wasn't a metaphor, it's like a literal screen. Well, let's figure out where Maduki is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering around aimlessly. We entered, uh, we encountered an information guide after going up that elevator. He intends to welcome us in so graciously. Perhaps we'll come across another guide soon. <laughs> Before I forget, I suspect the battles are going to get even tougher from here on out due to our lack of manpower. If I must. Focusing on our own abilities is fine and all, but depending on the situation, it'll be more efficient to team up. The combination move we pulled off before, 
That wasn't half bad. It's true, Akechi. It's true. It was the best one ever. All right. MC and Akechi Showtime. Of course, that all depends on whether or not you can keep up with me. Oh, trust me, I will. But first, I need to get you a new drip. Oh my gosh. Can you can you wear your original outfit again still? That'd be hilarious. Um. Wait, you have... <laughs> I can put him as a new cinema. What's the... What's the boss's suit? Wait, what? Oh, now that's killer. Oh my god, that is killer on you. Black and white right here. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna mess around with the catchy for just a while longer. So I can see what other outfits he's got. What's this? Hazama's outfit? A catchy of the deity emperor. The fuck is this? Oh. Huh? It's like a fire emblem outfit or something. It looks badass though. But I'll, I'll, I'll put you back into the, the boss's suit. Oh. You would look good in a butler suit, definitely. What about your dance wear? Okay, this is his best outfit, actually. Oh my goodness. This is actually his best outfit. No joke. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, I know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I know what he's wearing in NG Plus now. Okay, yeah, this definitely suits the purpose right here. Black and white right here. Let's go. Can't we go to the safe room, though? I thought I have a safe room unlocked. Let me check that real quick. Yeah, I can, right? Can I? No. But he wants me to proceed onward, right? Because there's the guide area. So I guess we'll... See it. We'll go to the guide area first. Yeah, to the front desk. I doubt there's anything new here, right? Same old shit. Happiness for everyone. Maybe you can really happy. Yeah, I think it was. Hey, that's actually pretty solid. <laughs> Same. I'll take this. Nothing. I think it was somewhere around here. VIP patients identified. We will now begin the grand tour. The auditorium is now open. The master awaits you there with the patient you seek. Please enter through the door on the left-hand side of the entrance hall. Hmm. Just as I thought. They're politely informing us of their location. The left, huh? That must be the door. Let's go. Can I, like... No? You don't want me to go back here? Yeah, it's locked. Oh, but there are shadows. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I guess I'll follow the story too. I don't know how long I'm going to be in here, so let's not waste resources. Oh, they're they're here already. Okay, let's get this started. Jump right into it. Light. <laughs> Bad little weakling. All right. Start with this. I don't know what the fuck you're weak to, though. Um... The fuck are you? Fire? I... Um... That's the thing, I don't know what you're weak, you're weak to. Try this. Oh! Perfect. Oh. Oh, I can recruit you, but not you? Okay, sure. Give come. Looks nervous, doesn't it? Say something to allay its fears, I guess. Um Anyone will do. Fuck. Uh you have a point there. Hooray! Nebulos. Okay, cool. Not like I can hang out with anyone right now. So I'll just keep replacing the old ones with the new. That's true. I needed to waste two okay. abilities right there. Is that a fruit bowl? There's a fruit bowl right there. Apples. 
Is that a metaphor or what? Like apples a day, keep a doctor away or some shit? Maybe. Just giving a PowerPoint presentation. And for our next choice, we have here COVID-18 introducing... Okay, that's not funny, I guess. Moving on. There's an enemy right there. Blam. I'll reveal your true form. Oh, Chimera. Wind and Curse. Um, yeah, just get rid of them. Do it. There we go. Oh my god, he's so menacing in his stance. Um, sure. This is a good one. One more. Do it. <laughs> Not bad. Now die. <laughs> He's so batshit crazy. Oh crap, they're not dead yet? Fuck. Do I have multi-curse? I do. Do it. That's it, Joker! It's time. Yeah, give it to me again. Oh yeah. Nice. That's a quadruple loot. Hit it. Man, these two are great. I love the, the dynamic between the MC and Akechi. 76. Okay. A good battle. Very good indeed. I see it. Is this for the speaker? Too bad. I'm taking it. Black rock. How many of those do I have? I have like 10 black rocks, I swear now. Or something of like a similar name. This is great stuff. Just perfect. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Like stat parameters? Gra bar graph? And uh... Oh my god, this is actually just like copy and paste from like um... From uh, Google Graphs, like it's the same stock, um, same stock color images. Jeez, well played, Atlas. I see what you're doing there. I know because I have to. I've had to done uh, business presentations, and I use the same stock colors too. It's somewhere. Because they're good on the eyes. Anyways, moving on. This isn't about business. <laughs> Let's go up here. I would wager there's a safe room somewhere nearby. Oh, who would have thought? Tangled USB. What is this one about, huh? Is this about like the the uh, ganglia um, membrane or something? Is that, like a maple leaf there, huh? What is this? It's like freaking 170p quality right here. Okay, I'm done. I'm taking a break in the safe room. <laughs> what am I talking about? What do you have to say, Mr. Akechi? Hmm. Let's move out as soon as we're done here. We're headed for the auditorium, correct? Oh, you're like wearing one of these suits now that, now that I think about it. Mr. Dr. Akechi. What's the plan? What shall we discuss? Do you have a moment? Our destination is the auditorium, remember? We'll head out as soon as you're ready. Aw. Now, let us depart. He doesn't want to discuss anything. We don't know what may be waiting for us. Let us explore carefully. I get you. Hey. I didn't expect such hospitality in a palace of all places. They must seriously believe we can resolve our differences in a civil matter. How absurd. I agree. Well, there's Mudoki right there, with the eyes and haircut. God damn. Wow, no enemies up here, really? That's... surprising. Okay. In class. Alright, this is the destination, so let's try this door first. Which... specifically says staff only. What are you doing? There's no point inspecting that right now. But I want to press the button. Mm. We'll need the proper ID to proceed any further. We're not headed that way anyway, so let's forget it for now. But the button... Okay, and what's this one on? I'm here to attend the seminar. Uh, brain plus heart waves equals uh, orange-blue graph. I wonder if you can read Japanese, like, and the, the kanji up there, can you actually infer what this is about? <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Hmm. No doubt that Maruki is up ahead. Make sure you're ready. Um, 
Okay. Whoa. This is definitely boss battle room. I got it. I got it. There's like nothing below me either. It's just like a freaking end game walkway. Oh, there's a savage enemy up there, which means there's a will seed there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Come on, Maruki. Eats. Show. Oh, it's an. Yep. This is. <laughs> this is definitely boss battle. Oh my god, he's sitting there. Wait, no, that's Kasumi. That's Kasumi sitting there, and that's. Oh my god. All eyes on us, huh? Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, my pleasure, I guess. Did you do something to her? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. So what's, what's with that gaudy chair? What is she like, Elsa or something? Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. Oh my god, look at all those people in the back. I like how um, if you look at the ones to the left, they actually look like carbon cut, uh, like carbon paste cutouts because from this angle at least, you can see they're more 2D than 3D from the ones on the right because they have less of a like surface area, if that makes any sense. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. Yeah, which means that, like, you're not 100% right. <laughs> you believe you're 100% right, so you're you're imposing this on the masses. You're just like Shido. You don't know that. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? No, because you're not the one that gets to decide that. If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. Holy shit, he knows. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Though it would seem, but not anymore. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? Oh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off uh, the team by you guys. This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. The fact that you just said that means it's not true. I mean, there's a certain amount of dissonance that exists within everybody. So, I get what, you, I get what, what Maruki is saying here. Nobody ever truly perceives the objective reality. That's just the nature of being a human, or existing in this world, or in any world really. You will infer things differently based on your life experiences and who you are. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. That's not true either. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. But the fact that I didn't choose it means that I'm making the conscious choice that that's not happiness. Like, does that make sense? This reality. I was so sad when she transferred for her parents' jobs. But all's well that ends well. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Please, I want you to understand. For their sake, as well as yours. I'm 100% like a catchy on this, where stop trying to control others. Let people live the lives they want to. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. Really? Then back to Leblanc. People, it's curry time. Oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? My friends want to stay in this reality. That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, and that's where I met you guys. When we'd go to Mementos, I'd transform into a... A bus. But is that really true well it's time <sighs> don't worry Akechi you have no no reason to doubt me if I accept Maruki's offer my friends and I will be able to live happily in this reality he's created or so he says 
if we stay in this world, we really could lead happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted to allow for the new circumstances. There is probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. My answer is this. For the sake of myself? Fuck you. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. Damn right. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. All right, well, we're in this big arena. Bring on the boss. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I mean, I'm doing this for myself, too. Just because I don't want to live in it as well. So... I mean, I'll break the system if I have to. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Sumiri's fault. I can't live that kind of life. Oh, we're gonna fight her. All right, Akechi. You know those new guns we bought? Kill her. If you do, then I'll... You can't win. I just geared up. How stubborn. That's right. Eliminator. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. Yeah. We'll need to at least knock her unconscious. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Damn, Akechi's just straight up saying that he can kill her. Just hurry up and end this. Oh, is this just a solo fight? Oh. Please don't make me do this. Wow. Man, I love Akechi. He it's like he understands that this is not his fight, so he's backing off. My goodness. Alright, let's do it. I can't stop this. I refuse to live as Kasumi's killer. Please don't do this to me. Dazzler. Uh, I'm blind. Okay, um. Persona! The next attack probably won't hit then, right? What should I do then? Maybe I'll just buff up. I don't know how strong she is. I'll just do this. Since I'm suffering. Fuck. Alright. Now we're gonna make her suffer. Let's see. Not bad. Oh shit, it's a crit. Fuck. Oh god. All right. Does she, wait, does she have a weakness? I forgot. Something else. What's her persona? What is your persona weakness again? You use light, right? Let's go. Right. How could I forget? It's curse. Of course. Um, what's a like really powerful curse? The heavy curse. Never mind. I have it. Oh god. Of course. It's a story fight. She has no weakness. God damn it. No weakness, because it's a boss fight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is this bull? Okay. Um, I mean, that that did do a lot to her. But I should heal up again. Okay, she's like, my god, Joker, what the fuck are you doing? Holy crap. She keeps critting. Alright, I guess I'll just... Uh, medium curse? Overrun. Nah, heavy curse. Go down. Why are you doing this to me? 
because I can. And because you're not well of mine either. I don't know what Maruki did while we were gone. I have no idea what's going on. Who am I? <laughs> Where am I? Please, just leave me alone. Please don't do this to me. Don't crit. Oh, okay. Um. Um, let's try this. I want to burn you. No burn. Oh shit, and charge? Oh god. Oh shit, and my stuff reverted. Okay. Um, I can probably take the hit, so that's fine. But I won't use a health attack, because if I do, I might actually die. Freeze. No freeze. Huge damage right here. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're good. I'm, I'm the one who's suffering, god damn. One more heal. Okay, good. Charge. Yeah, do it again. Buff, buff up again. Do it. You love it. Lightning. There we go. Why? Because you have unlimited MP and I don't. That's why. Uh. Akechi, where were you this fight, huh? Don't act like you were fighting by my side. Looks like you lost. Why? Our fight's over. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... That's right. It is your fault. And it's something you can never take back. But you also can't live with the grief forever or let it be or let it consume you because that's not what it means to live. If you obfuscate from it, sure. Some people that is living. But I'm not gonna it's kind of a selfish reason that the MC's doing it too, right? Cause to save Kasumi, I would also have to conform to it. And Akechi would too. So it's not just about her as well. Shizawa-san. And what type of tampering did you do when we were gone? <laughs> I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire... To live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Huh? <laughs> Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, Escape from the nightmare! What have you done? No, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in Cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> Akechi is like, let's do this quick. Rescue you. The only way I know how. I want to be back for dinner. Let's do it. If five turns only, we'll kill her. Still, what the fuck? Maruki's actually like completely deluded. I didn't get that vibe or like feeling from him at all. I thought it was just you know, oh, he's like a really cool character where you can kind of he, he teaches you about psychology. <laughs> Social psychology, but damn, he turns out to be an actual sociopath. It's gone totally 
berserk. Damn. We need to stop her persona. Gotta get rid of the trash first, though. I'll take that. What? Okay. It ate the smaller one. What a pain! We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Sounds good. It's time. This isn't it. Well, there's no use in targeting. Oh, it's called Sondrion too. It's her persona incarnate. Got it. Got to get rid of the trash then. In that case, heavy elect. Mm, sure. I'll run this for now. You say that, but I don't care. Try this. Fuck. Alright. That means it's light, then. Run it. No. God damn it. Huge. Okay, that's a charge attack, though. Okay, not bad. Walk another one. Crap. I'm not in a good spot right now. Holy shit. Alright, Akechi, I got you. Get back up. Leave it to me. Damn right. Let's see. This does a lot. So I'll run this again. Good. Target me. God damn. Damn it. There's no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? Yeah. I can't even target the main bot or the persona either, because if I do, it's just going to heal up. I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, such coated garbage. Who's calling you that, though? You can't tell. It's her refusal to accept the truth. Right? And? Damn it. That was a good screenshot, by the way. Shit, I'm gonna take that in NG+. We can't afford to waste time on this shit! Can't we just target Maruki? Here it comes! Fuck! I don't think so! Oh? Ryuji? How did he block that, by the way? Is it because it's electric? Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. Human Morgana? No, probably not Human Morgana. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. No, I'd love to see Human Morgana. I knew you'd be here. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that? That's right, it's him. Akechi kun and Dr. Maruki? No, she's always trapped by. Why is her persona doing this? Doesn't matter. Just kill the thing in front of you. What in the world is going on here? Uh, so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? Akechi's gonna be like, okay, good. Now that your friends are here, I'm stepping away. Alright, let's get in formation. Okay, now we can do this. Oh, okay, so I have Morgana and Ryuji. Let's push him back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? I won't hold back. Oh, I'm full health again. Okay. None will stand in my way. Well now we're starting off, huh? Alright. First, a buff. Leave it to me. Get everybody up. All right, let's see how much this does first. Yeah, that's more sa of a safer option. Um, medium fizz to all foes. Nah, I'll run this. 
That's better. And now wind. Crap, really? Wind and light don't work? Okay, might have to substitute Morgana out of here then. Shit, Akechi's down. Okay. Let's see how they deal with multi-fire, because I have a heavy fire ability. Wrong a persona. There we go. Try this. Fire 2? Jesus Christ. You're null to- oh my god. Alright, get rid of these fuckers now. Good. Alright, I'm going to... swap out Morgana. Give me... Haru. And... give me... Uh, I'll take... Mm, I'll take On, actually. On as healer. There we go. Now we're ready. Wow, she did the heal instantly. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Hit this. 261. How much does Psych do? Okay, at least it hits. Oh wait, I forgot. You're null to fire. Whoops, sorry, On. I wasn't thinking. Let's run Makoto instead. Whoops, I brought in On for nothing. Just realized that. Jesus. I still can't win this though, because she's just going to heal every time. Oh, good job, Akechi. Alright. I know that you're not weak too. Light doesn't work. But what about... Nuke and Ice. Yeah. Fire, Wind, and Curse. Are you weak to light? No, you're not. Piece of shit. Get rid of them then. Damn it. Okay. I need the nuke to work. Good. Oh, they're weak to nuke. Perfect. Ooh. Huge, okay. Alright. You won't get shocked, but she'll take a lot of damage here. Oh, Akechi, you're up then. Big curse and huge damage. Nice. Alright, you just keep snapping your fingers, alright? Oh crap. 600 though. Okay, I can do this. Let's go. We're doing good so far. Where is it? Do I have any other any other nukes? No crap. Fuck. I only have singular nuke. That's not that bad though. So I can do I can do this. Then I'll swap to Akoto. Then I'll do this. Kill him. Ooh, I should run this. Get him down. There we go. And now try this. Crit with all that down. All those stats down. Yeah, how do you like that? Just hang in there a little longer. 
That's the baton. Me. Okay. Doesn't have a weakness. But I should hit him with something huge. Heat wave. Megi Dolt. Yeah. I guess I'll just go with this. Can't go wrong with this. I don't have a colossal attack, unfortunately. Try this. Alright. Should be a catchy's turn. He's not eating any more of the guys, so that's fine. Oh, perfect. I don't need to buff up now. Okay. I'll do the same thing I did last time. Hit one. Pass it to Makoto. And then pass it to Akechi to kill them all. No! I would have liked to end it with Akechi's showtime. Oh well. Do it. Is it even going to show the enemy? Because it's a boss. I don't think it will. You hit a persona with a chair. It's not going to show it, is it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, they kicked it. Oh my gosh. That was a different animation. It wasn't the it wasn't like the the fist. It was the it was a kick this time. No. My dream won't be. The clock strikes midnight. Oh, I get it. Sandrion, right? Like uh Cinderella. I leveled up. Level 79. You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. Ooh. I mean, a small little detail here, but I love how Akechi is more distanced from the rest of the group. It's like he knows that he, like, that he doesn't belong with us. Man, I love Akechi. He just needs, like, ten hugs. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? Now that's the truth right there. All of this was done for your own joy. Again, you don't know that. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. I mean, I guess he does have some point because the fact that they were living those lives before even realizing it, before we woke them up from it. There is, yes, some truth to that. But it's still false. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. If we leave now with Ka uh, with Sumide, what are you going to do? We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> hey, fuck, I'm out of SP. <sighs> Final 
final decision on the third. Oh my goodness, he's pushing the date back. Oh, we got a month. Oh my goodness. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. Physical altercation? What does that mean? As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. Didn't his, like, girlfriend break up with them or something? <laughs> Uh, and then she died? I don't remember. But yeah, that was like a- he, he faced a tragedy himself. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. Akechi's like, alright, well, I'll see you all later. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. Oh my gosh, Akechi's not even here. Man, what a smooth bastard. He's out of here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? I should tell them what I know so far. I should tell them what I know so far with in the fucking cold and with Sumire on my back. We couldn't go back to LeBlanc or something for this. He altered our reality to make our dreams come true. This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? Oh, he didn't just run away. Wow. I'm surprised Akechi would actually come back here. That's right. Akechi. There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. True. Also, way of shutting him way of shutting up Ryuji right there. Akechi's not our enemy. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. No, we have a goal. A mutual goal. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. Real? If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? Akechi's like, I have no healing skills, so I at least need one of you to be useful to me. I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Man, and now he's gone. Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Can you stand? Yes. You're heavy. You know all that food you eat? Nah, she's been through a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no. You don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh, yeah. Third semester starting up tomorrow, right? Oh, shit. What? We're going back, going back to school? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. Distorted school. This isn't happiness. I want to be happy, Maruki, and not go to school. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Got it. Yo, 
welcome back. Hmm? I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> Wakaba isn't here anymore, right? Hey, Sojiro? Is mom? Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? Ooh, that's a bit of a tough pill to swallow. It's almost like they were hanging out with a ghost. Well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. See? Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Sounds good. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. A coincidence? I think not. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? He's a cat, no longer a human. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. I'm not a cat. I'm a human. I am not a. Oh wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. Oh, he admits it. He's in his acceptance stage. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right. MC. You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi kun? We need to find them. Right. Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay if it was painful too. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. Yeah, I should go to bed. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Guess I won't be able to play my game. <sighs> what? You got something to say? You've gone cat again. You were quite the looker. <laughs> Pride. <laughs> Don't rub it in. I did it to help you, all right? Yeesh. All this trouble with Yoshizawa and Maruki. We've got nothing but problems right now. Yep. For now, we should all meet up at the hideout. We gotta recap the situation and hold a strategy meeting. Strategy meeting. I've been trying to wrap my head around all this and... It's just not happening. I can't think straight at all. I can hardly blame you. I'm still so confused myself. Either way, I think we've all earned a bit of rest. Maybe a good night's sleep will help us all calm down. You're right. Certainly the combat has us tired out as well. We could all use some time to decompress. And on that note, good night. Well, we're going to need time to figure all this out. Either way, we can think about this tomorrow. Right now, we should go to sleep. Sounds good. It's nice and warm. What do you gotta say, Morgana, huh? How did this happen? Either way, let's rest. He's like, hey. damn it, I don't wanna be a cat anymore. I'm so exhausted mentally and physically. Well, I'm not. Hey. School starts tomorrow. Okay. Hey. No DVD. Hey. Damn it. Hey, hey. Maruki's power is really something, but we can't falter. I get you. I get you. All right, let's go to bed. <laughs>